Hey folks, I have a carry tip for you now. I'm not a police officer. I've never been in the military, embarrassingly, but I have been carrying for about 25 years. And what I'm gonna uh, tell you is just a suggestion. Now, this isn't proven. It's not proven in battle. It's not proven under stress or combat. So when I tell you this, there's probably gonna be many people that, that claim BS and give you a dozen reasons why, but this is why this method has worked for me. Now, for years, I wanted to carry hip or FBI just behind the hip, but I'm a little guy, I'm a little fella, and it just prints right there. So over the years, I've had to scoot back in the small of the back, like this, because for me, it, if I get that, that grip in, in the V of my back there, it just conceals it better. However, a few years ago when um, somebody, some genius in, invented appendix carry, I have been appendix carrying and I like it for certain situations, especially if I'm sitting down at a restaurant. I hate, you know, leaning over, people can see your gun or even take it. There's so many good reasons for appendix carry that I use that when the situation calls and that is simply, you know, doing that and getting that in a position to where it doesn't print much but you can always access that gun, like I said, especially if you're sitting down. Now, there are plenty of times when it's not very comfortable, and I do have my concerns about it. This is, uh, Penix Carry is more of an advanced technique. If you're not absolutely confident and practiced on the draw, it'd be kind of dangerous. However, there is one really strong suit to the small of the back or deep on the right side hip carry, and it is this. Now, I'm just envisioning scenarios here. You never know how something how a true emergency is going to go down but oftentimes for right-handed people you are going to be in theory fighting pushing back using that right hand somehow some way and if that right hand ever gets taken from you you know you you've got your other hand you've got your left hand and this is the one downside that i can see personally of appendix carry because there's just no good way to draw this gun with my left hand assuming this gun, this hand is occupied or out of the fight. One advantage of the small of the back carry or which is, you know, to me a modified hip carry. If this hand is out or even if I'm, you know, feigning like I'm gonna give some thug my money or whatever, trying to do something with this hand, maybe eyes are on me, this hand can easily, you know, come back here subtly and draw this gun great normally and fast if you had to um, but this is the normal way i would draw like this but if i had to this hand's occupied i'm fighting no no don't or i'm trying not to cause a scene whatever ever i'm doing this hand can come in here easily and grab that gun every time so you still have a chance just one advantage of that small back or modified hip and it's one reason why i really love that that carry style you can access that gun with your weak side hand uh, this is Jeff Johnston, and that's no BS.